Hi. Today's video is going to be going over something you can doodle when you are bored or maybe you have a creative block. I'm going to be using my Hannah Mueller sketch pad, my Thule art pens, and it's going to be various widths and under two pencil. My Unipol Sidno 2 8 pen for fine details. And my good old fashioned kneaded eraser for erasing. So, I don't know about you, um, but I'm fascinated with origami. The um, art of uh, folding a piece of paper into a, a shape, like a crane or a flower. Um, and my take on, on it is, I'm going to do a geometrical shape, but you can do it however you want. So I'm going to do a rectangle and it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so my idea is to incorporate shapes Kind of like a folded piece of paper and you can have fun with it adding in different angles you can add on to it as much as you want. Okay, so it's kind of an abstract, and I'm going to go in with my number 10 of Tully Arts for the outline but you can use whatever hand you have I like to vary the hand points that way um, have a more interesting visual dynamic And I'll see you, show you what I mean later on. And rotate your paper to make it easier to draw. And if you make a mistake, not to worry because nobody will know. So, example, instead of drawing it like that, I forgot. So I'm going to go back in and fix it. But again, you will be the only one who knows this. It's like, again... I should have gone hit that and then that and then that but I didn't and I just drew in the shapes so I'm going back in 
All right. And I'm going to go with my number six. It's um, a thinner point, and it gives a, a bit more distinction between the line. See the difference between that thickness and that thickness? And if you need a straight edge to do, do the lines, that's okay. Oops, that didn't go as planned. So let's try that again. Or you can just wing it and come what may. Now, you could do this at work, but just don't get caught. Unless you're in a, your own office and you have the doors closed. So, what I'm doing is creating individual cells. So, for example, this is a cell, and you can do a design, um, a pattern, same here, but since this is separate, and there's a gap, what you might want to do is have the same design, both parts. I like to do geometrical, because I like to tor torture myself in saying the word geometrical, but I like to do shapes because every shape within the doodle is another area that you can doodle in later on. I mean, you can, once you, this part is done, it's, it's good, but you can also add much more. So I'm going to go in with my three and begin rounding out areas that come together um, when they have like this here is a, an intersection and you round it out. This is a corner, so you round that out. And this one here.
and I like the rounding because the repetitive process is really relaxing. You can have as many shapes as you want. The sky is the limit and there are no rules. Do what you want and we'll both be happy. And later on, I'll show you a technique that you can use to um, shadow the shapes. And as you progress, give it a once over to make sure you have round out the corners. Looking good. So that's the origami, origami pattern. And what you can do is I like to use ink tents um, as to opposed to like a regular um, number two pencil and because when you use um, I, I was giving out my pencil that's what all the racket was for but the good thing about ink tents is when you wet it, it's permanent. So if you're done and you go back and decide, well, I want to add more color, then you can do it without the fear of the ink tents lifting up and you can also use it as a regular colored pencil as well and you don't really need a lot of ink tints to get a lot of color now i'm using um i don't know the brand of the water brush you can pick them up anywhere that sells 
art supplies. And you want to have a little bit of water. A bit more. And see, it's not, the ink isn't spit, spreading. And of course, you probably don't have a water brush at the office or school. So what you can do is when you get home, you can apply a little bit of water. Or if you're doing it at home, you can do it right away. That pencil I'm using is called charcoal gray. And the number is 2100. I like the grayness of the pencil. It works really well against the blackness of the ink. So that's good for that section and I'm going to do another area. I'm going to sharpen using my Tigal. It's a little dirty, so sorry about that. But I like these sharpeners because you can get a really fine line without having a lot of wastage on your pencil. And for this, I'm going to use a little bit less of the ink tents. I did it a lot here. I mean, you can use um, regular graphite. It's it's up to you. I like the ink tint because the there isn't the shininess of a regular pencil. And you also don't have to worry about the pencil getting smudged by your hand. All things can be considered. And the other thing that Incants is great for is, hold on, I'll show you. So, example, if you have like the water here before you have the ink tents, like have here, you can actually use this on a wet area first and it gives it a different look. And you're not not um, damaging the um, ink tents at all. Plus, um, ink tents can be reused on cloth, so you have that ability 
as well. See, this area is pretty much dry, so I can't lift it up. This area here is still wet, so I can play around with it a little bit more. And the ink tends acts like watercolor, and the um, Hanamula paper except accepts it as a regular wet medium, so you don't have to worry. All I have to do is make sure I can find the cap. For my paintbrush. So hide white. And if you um, enjoy the video, if you could maybe subscribe, that way you will be notified when I do another video, which is basically um, once or twice a week. So as you can see, the individual cells of the origami pattern is cool. And you can do it doing circles, triangles, however you want. So the next video I'm going to suggest you watch is the same kind of doodle here um, but with rings and circles i hope you enjoyed the video and got inspired to have some fun but like i said don't get caught if you're at school or work thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video. Bye.